The Jerusalem Bible by Doubleday. Psalm 15, the guest of Yahweh, Psalm of David. Yahweh, who has the right to enter your tent or live on your holy mountain? The man whose way of life is blameless, who always does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart, whose tongue is not used for slander, who does no wrong to his fellow, casts no discredit on his neighbor, looks with contempt on the reprobate, but honors those who fear Yahweh, who stands by his pledge at any cost, does not ask interest on loans, and cannot be bribed to victimize the innocent. If a man does this, nothing can ever shake him. Psalm 16, Yahweh, my heritage, victim of David. Look after me, God, I take shelter in you. To Yahweh you say, my Lord, you are my fortune, nothing else but you. Yet to those pagan deities in the land, my princes, all my pleasure is in you. Their idols team after these they run, Shall I pour their blood libations? Not I. Take their names on my lips? Never. Yahweh, my heritage, my cup, you and only you hold my lot secure. The measuring line mark out delightful places for me. For me, the heritage is superb indeed. I bless Yahweh, who is my counselor and in the night my inmost self instructs me. I keep Yahweh before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart exalts, my very soul rejoices, my body too will rest securely. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, nor allow the one you love to see the pit. You will reveal the path of life to me. Give me unbounded joy in your presence and at your right hand everlasting pleasures. Psalm 17. The innocent man pleads his cause. Prayer of David. Yahweh, hear the plea of virtue. Listen to my appeal. Lend an ear to my prayer, my lips free from dishonesty. From your presence will my sentence come. Your eyes are fixed on what is right. You probe my heart, examine me at night. You test me and find nothing, no murmurings from me. My mouth is never sinned, as most men's do. No, I have treasured the words from your lips and in the past prescribed walking deliberately in your footsteps so that my feet do not slip. I invoke you, God, and you answer me. Turn your ear to me, hear what I say. Display your marvelous kindness, Savior of fugitives. From those who revolt against you, guard me like the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the onslaughts of the wicked. Mine enemies cluster around me, breathing hostility, entrenched in their fat, their mouths, utter arrogant claims. Now they are closing in, their eyes for nothing but to see me overthrown. They look like a lion eager to tear to pieces, like a young lion crouching in its hide. Rise, Yahweh, subdue him face to face, Rescue my soul from the wicked with your sword, with your hand. Yahweh, rescue me from men, from the sword of men whose lot is here now. Cram their bellies from your stores. Give them all the sons that they could wish for. Let them have surplus to leave their children. For me, the reward of the virtue is to see your face and on walking waking. to gaze my fill on your likeness. 
God bless you all and keep the faith.